What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. All right, folks, today I'm gonna blow your mind a little bit. Are you tired of having to go to a steakhouse, spend an exorbitant amount of money, put you and your family's life in danger just to have yourself a nice, delicious steak? Well, don't you guys worry. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make the perfect steak at home using a Texas Roadhouse style seasoning blend and cooking it all up in our air fryer. Having a juicy steak doesn't mean you have to spend exorbitant amounts of money. All it means is that you gotta go to the store, grab yourself a cut of meat, get in that kitchen and do exactly what I'm about to show you. And as always, for all of my recipe hacks, tips and tricks to actually enjoy what you're eating while still seeing results, whether that's weight loss or building muscle or both at the same time, don't forget, you can grab a copy of my cookbook available at the first link in the description box. We're right at just about 300 pages and this thing grows every single week because every time I drop a new video or a new recipe, it gets added to the book for free with no additional money. It's one heck of a deal. Hit that link in my description box if you want to check it out. I know you won't regret it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are to have some fun, then I am too. Let's go. All right, folks, today we're gonna be working with a ribeye steak. This is by far my favorite cut of steak. If I go to a steakhouse and I want the best steak experience possible, I go with ribeye every single time. And this is a 12 ounce or 336 gram ribeye, which is the perfect serving size for me. And in order to ensure this is as good as possible, we do need to season it. That's tip number one when you're making any type of meat. Once you get past the actual cut of meat itself and the quality of the piece of meat, the right seasonings are gonna impact the flavor enormously. The steakhouse I grew up going to was Texas Roadhouse. I love the way they season their steaks, and right now, I'm gonna show you how to make their rub. So what I'm gonna do is get a small bowl, place it on a food scale. We're gonna start with two grams of kosher salt. After that, I need a gram of garlic powder, a gram of onion powder. We're gonna add a gram of paprika, a gram of chili powder, and finally, a gram of black pepper. And once we got them all in here, we'll go ahead and mix them up. And then what we're gonna do to help the rub adhere to the steak is hit each side with a little light coating and nonstick cooking spray. Then we flip it over and do the same thing again. Once we've done that, we're gonna take our seasoning and evenly sprinkle it on the surface of both sides of our steak. Like I said earlier, the rub is where the majority of your flavor is coming from. You could literally have the two exact same cuts of steak, one with a good rub and one with a bad one, and the differences would be substantial. So definitely don't skip this step right here if you want the perfect steak. And once we got a good layer of our seasoning down, I'm just gonna pat it in. Then we'll go ahead, flip it over, and apply our seasoning the exact same way to the other side. All right, people, the steak is seasoned, but there's one thing I recommend you do before we actually employ the air fryer. This is optional, but once again, I think these little things can make a world of difference in the end result. What we wanna do is preheat a large skillet to the highest heat possible. You see this smoking? Probably not good that I'm breathing it in, but that's because this is hot. We wanna sear this steak for about a minute on each side to really caramelize that skin on the outside and make every bite that much more delicious. So we'll give it a little nonstick and we'll give this steak a nice sear. And check it out, ladies and gentlemen. That sear right there is just how I want it. Brown the skin, lock those seasonings in, impeccable A-plus performance. Now, the rest is easy. What we gotta do is grab our air fryer basket, hit it with a nice coating of nonstick spray, and then now we'll just place the steak down inside. That's a perfect fit. Then we just place the basket back in the air fryer, and I will hit the top of the steak with a light coating of nonstick spray. And all we gotta do now is air fry this at 400 degrees for about seven to eight minutes on each side. So we're gonna cook it for seven minutes or so, and then we're gonna check on it we're gonna flip it and do it again. But we'll do the first half now and I'll show you guys what we're looking at at the halfway point. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the halfway point. Let's see what we're working with. Oh my goodness. That, ladies and gentlemen, looks like perfection and it's not even done yet. So all I'm gonna do now is flip it over. This might be a terrible idea to do barehanded. Boom. Perfect. And here we go, folks. Told you this was easy. The only thing left to do now that we flipped it is give it another little seven to eight minute run in the air fryer at 400 degrees. And that's if you want it medium well. If you want a little more rare, you can even go three, four minutes, depending on how you want your steak. If you want to be extra cautious, you can always use a meat thermometer to check the internal temperature of your steak. And for me personally, for a really nice medium, once that internal hits 145, I know it's good to go, but I probably won't even be using this today. So I'm just gonna let the full time elapse. So we're gonna give this another eight minutes or so, and I will see you guys when the finished product is ready. Come on. Yeah. 
and check out this beautiful cut of meat. Not only is it literally leaking juices, from the inside we have that nice seared crust on here with the seasonings and the smells coming off this thing are incredible. Let me go ahead, take a knife and a fork. Let's see what the inside of this looks like. We're just gonna cut this bad boy in half. I'm not sure if this is the right decision, but I gotta show you what we're working with. And bingo, take a look at that. To me right here, this is the perfect steak. We had a little bit of pink in the middle. We got the juices literally flowing out of this thing and we legitimately cooked it perfectly. If you wanted it to be well done, you can add a few more minutes to the cook time or if you're working with a thinner cut of steak, you might've reached this in about five minutes instead of the eight for that final round of cooking. But needless to say, you don't need a fancy culinary degree to make good food in your own kitchen. All you need is a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of time, and most importantly, an empty belly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we really need to try this out. But before I do that, if you could do me a solid and hit that thumbs up button for me, it helps the channel out tremendously when you guys do that. Comment down below other recipes or foods you wanna see me make and make sure you subscribe because I have tons of healthy, delicious, amazing recipes coming all the friggin' time. So without further ado, guys, let's eat this steak. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. But first, before we bite into this steak, I do gotta let you know about something equally as delicious. It is also filled with protein, and that is the Anabar, the first of its kind protein bar that actually tastes like a candy bar. A lot of protein bars hype themselves up and say they taste good, but for someone that actually doesn't eat them, if they were to try one, they'd think it was chalky, maybe had a taffy-like taste, the chocolate wasn't even real. With Anabar, none of that is the case. We use 100% authentic milk chocolate and white chocolate. We sweeten our bars naturally with honey, fill them with things like peanut butter, Oreos, Captain Crunch cereal, real marshmallows, the works. It is literally the best tasting protein bar you've ever had, I guarantee it. And right now we got the white chocolate cookies and cream flavor, which is probably our most popular flavor at the moment, the one that people keep going back to. So here we go. When we open it up, you can see the white chocolate coating. And then if I break it down the middle, it falls apart like a soft cookie. And you can literally see the white chocolate chips and Oreo pieces on the inside. If you're tired of regular protein bars, you can't go wrong with an Anna bar. Mm. These are absolutely delicious. I know if you try them, you'll love them, whether that's for meal replacement, need a snack to put in your pocket when you go to the movies, or you just don't feel like cooking. If you try it, I know you'll be sold on it. You can always head over to theanabar.com. Use my code RJ10, you'll save money, and you'll be getting the most gourmet protein bar on this planet. And keep in mind, our new flavor, Milk Chocolate Monster Cookie Crunch, launches September 15th at 3 p.m. Central. So if you'd like to get the new flavors right when they drop, and you don't want to miss the sellout, make sure you set a reminder. Appreciate all the support. Now, let's get into this steak. I'm going to go ahead and just cut some bites up. That way they're waiting in the wind. Things. All right, we'll do this nice juicy piece right here. No sauce, nothing at all, just the steak. And you know you made a good steak when you don't need any sauce or anything. You can just eat it as is, and it's gourmet. So here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. Mm. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in a five-star Michelin restaurant. Mm. This is outstanding, folks. That rub just gives this such a nice flavor. Reminds me of Texas Roadhouse, the steaks I used to eat. We cooked it to the perfect temperature, that little bit of pink in the middle. This is definitely a winner. Mm. Now in an entire 12 ounce or 336 gram ribeye, which end up for the entire thing, is 693 calories with 49 grams of fat, 63 grams of protein, zero grams of carbs, and zero grams of fiber. So you guys just noticed, this does have quite a bit of fat at a whopping 49 grams, but we're still getting 63 grams of protein. So it's still anabolic, but it's definitely not the lowest calorie cut of steak you can go with. For me, I have no problem fitting this right into my diet. I love steak. I would pair this with something like homemade sweet potato fries. You can check out my video on that, or maybe some roasted Brussels sprouts, something along those lines. No more for dinner, I make it fit pretty easily. If you are on a very low calorie diet and you don't have room for a steak like this, keep in mind steaks like flank steak, skirt steak, a tri-tip, there's other lean cuts of steak that you can make instead of this. They're gonna be a little lower calorie, but none of them are gonna be quite this delicious. Like I said earlier, if I'm gonna take the time to make a steak, I want it to be good and I want it to be a ribeye. And after realizing how easy it is to make this in the air fryer, I might never go to a steakhouse again. Mm. And there we have it, folks. I'm gonna finish this steak off camera. That way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me eat. I appreciate you guys, as always, for checking out the channel. Keep in mind, if you have my cookbook, this exact recipe, the rub, cook times, macros, calories, everything is now in here. So if you have the cookbook, get your updated copy. If you don't have it, then I'm telling you with every single video I drop, this thing gets worth more and more money. We're almost at 300 pages, and I appreciate all you guys that have supported it and made this entire channel possible. And like I always say, I know that if you follow us in here, I show you how to calculate your macros, calories, make your own meal plan, all that stuff. If you follow it, you will be on a road 
road to a leaner, meaner, more friendly physique. Seriously, if you follow us in here, it's gonna work. Hit that link in my description box if you wanna check it out. And that's it, folks. We are out of here. Appreciate you guys as always. Don't forget, Young LA, your pearl sponsor of the channel. You can always head over to youngla.com. Use my code RJF, you'll save money. Andrew gets some really cool clothes like these Young LA cutoff shirts or these amazing shorts. They got these in so many different colors with wallet pockets, everything you need. So if you're in the mood for new shorts, joggers, anything, make sure you check them out. Thumbs up button, comment down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, you beautiful ladies and gentlemen, I'll see everyone with the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We out.